Are you one of those people out there who have for years been trying to build themselves the ultimate small computer using a mini ITX motherboard and the smallest stuff you can get, but you've never been able to get a video card to power the bad boy? Well, check it out. You'll now have that card. AMD has released their brand new Fury Nano. Now, I know all you guys out there are familiar with their other cards, the Fury and the Fury X. But now there's going to be a Fury Nano, and I know you guys want to know the information about this. So right off the bat, one of the things I want to talk about is this card is completely geared towards small systems. Like there are many giant systems out there. If you want to build a giant system, then get yourself a Fury X. But if you're looking to build yourself a really small system and have it completely run cool and awesome, then this Fury Nano is what you're looking for. Now, this card is completely, really, totally, unbelievably small. It's only six inches long. That's right. This card is six inches long, features a single fan, and has a total custom strata unlike anything else that the people over at AMD have ever done before. In fact, in our briefing, they discussed it with us, how we could actually remove that, paint it ourselves, and put it back on and make it even more custom. Now, another thing about this card is it only requires a single 8-pin power connector to power it and has a 175-watt thermal threshold. That's right only 175 watts. Now this is also the very first reference-based card that has a heat pipe that's cooling all the VRMs and a dual heat chamber that's cooling the GPU. So this thing's totally geared to run cool. Now thing I wanna talk about is specs. All the specs of the R9 Fury X are still in this card. Same Fury chipset, same everything. The only thing between this card and that one is that it's air-cooled, it's smaller, and it's clocked a little bit lower. Now, another thing out there people are gonna say is overclocking. Yeah, AMD specifically said in this video that this card was really not geared for overclocking whatsoever. What it is geared for though, however, is to run completely silent. They're claiming this card is so quiet that it's library quiet, like basically whispering in a room and you can't hear it. So that's really nice stuff. Now, I know some people out there going, oh man, what the heck doesn't overclock, but check it out. When you've got your small system like that, you know, you're gonna want the airflow to be good in it and you're gonna want it to stay cool. You're not gonna wanna create a whole bunch of heat inside this little tiny space. When you got a giant computer, you've got lots of room for air to move around. You got this little tiny system, there's not very much room for air to move around. Unless you wanna put up some giant fans and have it going <laughs> which totally defeats the purpose of having a quiet card. So the things you need to know is this card's coming to market at about $649. It'll be here in about three weeks. Features all new custom cooling all around. Same specs as the Fury X card. Unbelievable stuff, folks. Now, AMD is claiming that this card will basically revolutionize the entire SFF business. And I kind of tend to agree. Right now, there's nothing by NVIDIA that can touch 4K at this size. The rear IO port features three display ports and a single HDMI port. So you know you're gonna be able to use multi-monitors and 4K in a six inch card right now, like I said, is untouchable by anybody. So that's it folks. Sorry, I don't have the card in hand. AMD has said they will ship us one so we can give you guys the actual scores. I'm expecting it to score though, honestly, just a little bit under the Fury X. I mean, obviously, since it's clocked a little bit lower, you know, it's going to run probably just a little bit slower. But for those people out there who are looking for the ultimate card to build themselves a small mini ITX PC, hey, your day has arrived. I think AMD has done some serious innovation in this card. I know most of the time, you know, you guys out there, NVIDIA fans say, oh man, you know, AMD isn't that, but check it out. AMD this time, this is a serious winner for AMD. I gotta hand the, you know, hats off to Roy Harper to these guys because no one right now has this. So the Fury Nano's hit the market. It's small, it's powerful, it's six inches, it runs cool. You guys have seen the slides, you guys know what it is. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tekka tomorrow. Hey, if you like what you see, underneath this like button, we'll have more information about this card and uh, we'll see you guys back here on Tekka tomorrow for more tech videos tomorrow.